What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Thomas the Game Dude here, welcoming you to what could be the final episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I auto two lines, um, so I can't remember how I can look it up. I want to say it's like this button that'll help me do that. Yeah, look at that. I figured I have buttons correctly for once. You know, I cannot hit a button when I'm off camera, but I, on camera, I just somehow remember the buttons. That's totally not true, but it is what it is. Um,. You've already solved the mystery, right? So I'm the killer. On to the next one. Maybe you should be, or you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. Uh, damn straight, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all of the mysteries, and then we'll have our victory. There you go. That's what we miss. All right. Then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? That's for her to know and us to find out. When the blurry pictures were taken... And those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams. Mm. No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges, all grippy and leaky. I already gave you a hint before. All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monica must told us, the memories that were stolen from us that were that you must be related to. <laughs> oh crap! Shoot. Me already losing memories. Okay, or losing health. Oh, she he, that was already mentioned. Oh God. Literally was talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? I got it! The driving force behind the motive you presented <coughs> us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? I should have gotten water. Ooh. Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationship. For example, your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the result. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? The theme for the second motive was... I got it! It was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That... Embarrassing memories and secrets! And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? Third murder was... That was the money one, because that was the last. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? I 
gun! In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the Seed of Despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Because they didn't know that they had no way to escape from it the was, first place. They gave them a note anyway. and a way to escape. Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Amundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> a most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. The outside you world? Mean the world beyond the school walls? <laughs> so something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold, the world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. What? What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw? 
All of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What should we <clears throat> what about it should we recognize? The whole the thing's world insane. Is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class trial. What? Okay, hold on. There's so much more. Okay. Come on, bitches. Remember or die. What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, holy, that took a minute. A damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Well, nobody can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? That took a whole minute off my time. What? Okay, hold on. Bitches, remember or die. What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Well, Nobody can remember anything. No, that's wrong. I cannot believe I got that. Hello. I remember they switched places is all I remember. Like, Actually, if their memories. She might remember. Uh, who might remember? The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality is forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. Dun, 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 dun. She just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. That's enough! Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye, Roger, you got it, Captain! Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? Oh my god, she's the worst liar <laughs> in the world. More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember. With a kiss. Oh god. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening. But it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? 
destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. And as a result, in basically no time flat. The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. <laughs> she didn't give us anything else. That's all there is to it? Come on. There wasn't a single concrete description in there. Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics. Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how could the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well... As long as we're being ridiculous. I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Tagami family? There's no other option. Correct! Well done, peasant! But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? <laughs> Damn. But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes. Stop? And said with such authority. A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They, they couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. <laughs> Hold on. That doesn't make any sense. Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> What the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. 
deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? And now, answer us! Answer with all your heart and soul! How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. When do you ever? We still have it to answer somehow. If we don't, everything definitely ends here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Jungle said was true, and if we came here two years ago, the, but the rest of us only remember getting here within a few weeks or so, the memory she took from us was our entire I life at Hope Speak Academy. If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! I want to think that too, but I don't want to believe it. But there's nothing... but that's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe, but I want... I want to be... I want it to be impossible. But if that's the truth, then we have to accept it. worth of memories I could never lose something like that we've been living here for two years hell no that's impossible I mean I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything heck I've never even gone to a single class wow that plus if two years have passed how freaking old am I Everyone's so conflicted. I had the right thing. Two years? I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Wrong button. Oh, God. Hell no. That, I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school of Heck, I've never even gone to a single class. No, that's wrong. That's why he had a whole folder dedicated to himself. Hero. There's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No. No way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's a one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Shit, man, I've never been to a funeral. Hell yeah! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. 
And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair. Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves. I'm sick of expositioning all this shit. Figure out what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where our memories come apart. Is she talking about the moment that we must have lost our memories? No. Oh, duh. Okay. The moment I lost my memory, I can't think of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? about the details but it seems like everyone remembers passing out right and your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that i guess it must have been something like that after i passed out i woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk i assume not much time had passed since i'd collapsed in the main hall <laughs> but instead Two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together. And then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. You're the one who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! The ultimate despair, all mankind. Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your lives. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. 
the tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! Now, someone was responsible for that transformation. For creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? A gun! The headmaster, because he wanted to protect us. The headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, That's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean, we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it, and started bitching about how you were trapped in here. Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work. And thus began the killing game. Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan. And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, 
It would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them. Which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? The mastermind did show us everyone in the outside world. That was... A third hangman's? Oh my gosh. Okay. Showed us everybody. Ah. Uh. Well, the, the A is act. Ah. I don't believe it's A. Oh, shoot. Where's the ah? See, so I put it together somehow. I don't know how, but I did. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh-huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. You expelled I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like... Give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together! You were all my treasured classmates! Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth! Which is what you wanted, right? So... Does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solve the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... we've been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. 
You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already. So help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. It's Hero. You don't don't give yourself too much credit. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. Good. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all goners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you for the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Hell yes! <laughs> that's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple. You stole our memories. Invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner. It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. What? I mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She's saying she'll let us live! If you're not happy with that, then go ahead and punish me. And make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists. Where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed! Wait a sec! I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment. What? You, you can't just... You mean to say, you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down. Makoto, you're up. Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you! 
So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. Hero, I swear to God. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me, but that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? No, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Guys, it's so beautiful. Your love. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! We're not gonna lose to you! So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! The final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die... That would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here... ...is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. All the dot -a dots. So, what are you going to do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? Only dot dot dots? <laughs> that counted as a heart? won't give up as long as there's hope we'll never give up if i were to die that would be the end of hope's peak academy <laughs> don't lose hope now all my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place <laughs> but to live means moving forward right so even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune-telling thing doesn't matter anymore. 
What matters is my own gut feelings. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of I, I decided to have faith in myself. By the oh, way, shoot. The air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in is thanks to the air. Don't lose hope now. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. That sounds like something she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say, which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end. I... I decided... By the way... The air, the only reason is thanks to the air purifiers. Say whatever you want. I've made my decision. If I die, the purifiers will, in other words, as the communal life you've all been living will come. Me. Don't lose hope now. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. So, no matter how I look, still hate it. Oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I decide. By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the end. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all been living. I can keep on living. As long as I have my master's love! <gasps> All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. Don't lose hope now! What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known... We won't give up as long as there's hope. We'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I decide... By the way... The, the only we're getting, we're getting ending music, guys. No. We're getting the starting music again. What is with this awesome sound design? Excuse me? Claim the mastermind's life by whatever means. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Wow. I didn't really know my father. So I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? What the? What the hell are you? The ultimate hope has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. So uncool. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool. So unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, 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 lame. I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but, but still. But I still... Moment of truth! 
I was ready for a moment of truth. We had we had to have a third one. We had a third hangman's jam bit. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. It's... No, 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 no. I can't see the rhythm at all, all, all. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Hope is a joke. Who are you? Would you like to die? Oh, I can see it now. Wait a minute. You're gross. Suffer from despair. Everything is pointless. Suffer from despair. Huh. I picked it up somehow. Despair into tomorrow. Hope keeps on going. I refuse to give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Yeah, this is where I was on a roll, and then I fell apart. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the section I fell, like, completely apart, and then I picked it back up. I got a B, probably. Th okay, no, I don't deserve an A. I, I, I don't know how. I, I, don't, I don't deserve an A. I literally died twice in the midsection. I definitely don't deserve an A. No, that A is so wrong. But okay, we'll take it, I guess. We were on such a good roll, and then section seven it happened. Looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost me? No, no, no way! It just can't be! Uh, um... You, you still don't accept it? <laughs> Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use in trying to find it now. Well, that's just... Totally the best! Huh? So this is despair. We came to the school two years ago, created an incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. I know, I... To come this far and fail at the very end is the most ultimately, ultimately despair. Well, well what are you talking know, about? I... You don't see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was born of the world in the moment I was born. That is why I've been looking forward to this desperately, this once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have a chance to taste of that, the highest great despair of the utter failure of my dreams. Oh, uh, I am so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, she's enjoying this? Anyway, anyway so are you prepared to admit defeat? You think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. But that's not true. Not possible. You're wrong, huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. I don't think that's what we'd call it, but it's fine. <laughs> Everyone. Hey. You said that despair is contagious as it, as any as dis However. contagious as any disease, but the same is true for her, of hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. Kyoko. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, stop it! Stop! I hate those faces you're making. 
To see those awful looks causes me nothing but pain. Fine, thing. let me just say one last thing. If you want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find hope. But there's every, but there is a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling on to your hope? Of course, because we... Fine, shut fine. up, shut up. That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done, though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want to do is taste that despair of death. The only thing you, you the, that you only get once in your life, so. No. No, 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 no. We're going to force her to live in the confines of the school. Because that's more punishing than killing her. Don't get in my way. Come on. So this is how the despair of death feels. Oh, it's so wonderful. Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. <laughs> Juko has been found guilty. It's time for the punishment. Wait, is she actually going to die? Oh, she is. What? Is it a combo of all the punishments at once? The ultimate punishment. The 1,000 blows. Oh my gosh, he is getting all the punishments at once. The cage of death. The burning of the Verilis' witch. The evacuator destroyer. Blast off. The after school lesson. She got all the punishments. I actually thought she was going to stay alive. <laughs> the emergency override. And that's how everything it came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Inoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope Peak Academy. It was all over. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, and ultimate death. The end. Monokuma, hair tie, present. But after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off, just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Goodbye, Despair High School. Epilogue. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I almost felt absent-minded. 
this was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck in limbo, unmoving, unsure, but in the end... Hey. We can't just stand here around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, Kyoko was the one who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, you should do the... Would you do the honors? Okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the ob object we'd gotten. Up until that moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it for us. So, um... But, is that really it? Is that the, really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. She said that, just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be the, our way out of here. But... But you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's going to make the school self-destruct. I mean, Junko never said specifically she left She left us let us leave a, here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even if so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> There's nothing to be worried about. My if there's <laughs> if something ever happened to Master, I'd just take my scissors and jam up so far up. Huh? huh? Hey, where's the courtroom? Where's the m mastermind? Oh. It's all over. We just have about to leave. The we're about to leave the school. <laughs> what? Leave? We can go outside? <laughs> and that means me and m Master can get m married. And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. Please stop. That would be a greatest honor. Or there'd be a greater honor than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway. Anyway, don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But. But what happens after we get out? That I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I. I think part of me still thinks. We're serious. Maybe when we get out of here. We'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. And on the other side of the door is a world as peaceful as we remember. Lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. Where it's where we're meant to live. Uh, um. Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put it? Unlike this school, the world's really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there's also lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Hmm. I don't need you to I don't need you to spell that out for me. You know, Jungle mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me to rebuild the world just we must first rebuild the togami dynasty i'll go with you i'll follow you anywhere you will want to go you got it well my first stop is to get the closest donut shop so i can figure out the rest from there hey. and what are you gonna do if you see that there are no more donut shops or donuts <laughs> I'll just make get some flour and make some myself and if there's no flour i'll go get some wheat <laughs> or grow some wheat Ah, I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. Could it be? That's my hope. How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of the Yasuhiro Haga Kyure life story. It's about to begin. Whoa! Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened my eyes. Oh! Hey, personal space, buddy. You're seriously creeping me out. Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone... Even if the world is steeped into despair. <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving. If we get out of here, or get out of there and do something, ha have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. So what can we do? No, we could probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. 
But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys, you guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about Master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up, I have to push even harder. I'm going to keep moving forward with my hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. And since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Wow, okay. Now it's gonna give us who like voiced the characters probably, but I'm okay. I have a weird feeling that there's gonna be some end, cre end credit stuff. So I'm gonna keep and be careful. But look at all of these amazing people who like voiced these characters. It's insane when you think about how much work was put into this. Like there's so much. Like and not only is there... There's two more games still, guys. Like, uh, my guess is they're going to be separate, like, events. But they're going to... I don't know if they're going to somehow intertwine, right? Like, I have a feeling they have to. Like, there's got to be some form of common ground and common theory. Um, I guess... Do we delve into thoughts about the project? I mean, I guess. this is That's what the credit scenes are for. I always let the credit scenes play out because I want to give credit to everybody who literally worked on the games. As you guys know, that is literally like a thing that I do in all of my playthroughs that not all of people do. So again, thoughts about the project. Well, okay. This game was insanity from the very beginning, which is amazing because we, we, we honestly, we, it was a great change of pace and a great, like it, it captivated you the entire way through. It was a visual novel kind of type thing done right. It made, and the fact that there was trials it made you have to recollect and rethink about what was going on and how things were going and you had to pay attention like if you weren't paying attention then you missed stuff aka what happened in the last trial where it took me so long to pick to pick apart and pick together the cutting of the line like obviously it would make sense if that was where you because junko would be on that tape she would have to be for formality purposes that makes sense but there was a couple of those in a couple of the trials, like in trial two, where I completely just boop, blank, gone. What what happened? Don't know. Like, and I did like the fact that like, like everything, the way that everything went, the way that everything was. I am still so sad about uh, Sayaka dying immediately, uh, but it makes sense, obviously. Um, and the fact that it like that she got looped back into it at the end is kind of cool. To use like the her proof, obviously Kyoko Kyoko was number one, our our number one girl, um, but obviously Chihiro number one guy, um, that was like, I can say that right here without a doubt that those two were there. Um, it's just crazy to me though, like everything that happened, and there were some moments where you're like, okay, 
bop, 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 bop. Like, when you figure it out, when you know what's going on or how things are happening, bop, 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 bop. Good. But then it made it there was some foreshadowing things. <laughs> and then, like, I don't know. I just, I loved this all in all. Um, and I can't wait to see what the other two games are like. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's literally a seven-year gap between game one and game two. Uh, this game came out in 2010. The next game, I think, is 2017. Um, which is a huge difference. That, like, that makes me think that they put so much time and effort into the second game that it's, it's going to be very cool to see when that when we start playing through that second game how all of that's going to work. What is that going to mean? And, how, like, the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Um, yeah, like... Oh, is that the scene that we missed? Because, okay, so I was told that we missed a scene. That might have been the scene that we missed. <laughs> uh, like, because we did miss, like, some item type scenes, I think. Um, I know we missed one, but I don't know how many we missed. Because we weren't really, we, we focused on the items, and then we kind of pulled back on the items. Once I had enough items for me to feel comfortable with the amount of people that were left. And honestly, that's one thing I want to see is see if all the items and stuff. But realistically, eh, yeah, like I, it's like it's something I want to personally see, um, just because I think it would be cool to complete that. But yeah, like so many good, hardworking people worked on this game. They should be proud of it. Um, honestly, they they did a really good job and. Like I said, it excites me that there is a seven-year gap between the two games. I don't know about you guys, but I am somebody who likes having gaps between the games because that usually tells me that they worked hard on it and did, like, a lot like they did on this one. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they started development in this game in 2005 or 2006. That's just how good of a game it was. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it took five to six years to just make this game. Um, anyway. <laughs> interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... You received the Easter egg present. Was that because we actually watched the credits scene? I, I, you know how funny it would be if I could actually have skipped the credits scene? <laughs> and I didn't because that's literally how I roll. That's funny. Okay. Epilogue ending. All's well that ends well. Do you want to save data? Yes. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we have school mode unlocked, but that's, I think, more going to be for me personally. I think that you guys have gotten the extent of the LP. If you guys want to learn more about each of the individual characters and how they were, I suggest you guys get this game yourselves to do that and talk to the characters you guys want to talk to. Um, just like I will um, talk to the characters that I want to talk to and update the report cards and stuff if I can. And I don't know how that necessarily works because we haven't popped into it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so glad I was like not like, oh, epilogue. You know, we're going to end the episode at the epilogue. Because that was like, that would, I would have been so mad at myself. I was like, it's the epilogue. It's fine. Y'all can get a longer episode. So that epilogue didn't even contain like anything I had to really do, which is awesome. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Danganronpa 2 is going to be a thing. Um, I can't date things because dating things is bad, okay? Um, because I don't know when this series ends. But expect the the series to start sometime in late November um, for you guys to watch. Of course, I will be enjoying the game um, and having to know spoiler mode for you guys, um, which will be hard. But luckily, I don't stream very much, so that doesn't, that, that doesn't you know, not a problem. But anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you guys. And we'll see you guys in Danganronpa 2. Bye!